I am the Commissar. That's my name. Forged Alliance Forever. That's the game. And who have we got with a claim to fame? Today, the cold team on the left faces off against the hot team on the right. Let's go and meet them. Going first up at the top here for Cold Team, this is Zaznoba, 1726 rated, UEF in Mauve. Next to him, this is Yo Asakura, 1151 rated, Cybran in Baby Blue. And down here, all the way at the bottom, in fact we just saw him complaining, look, I'm miles away from you. He says, look where I am. This is Mirrored. He is 1383 rated. He is UEF and he is in Dark Blue. Facing off against them. We'll start for the hot team with Secret Player, who has opened first air. Very interesting. He's Cybran and he's 1467 rated and he's in Orange. And a classic first air build. Two P-Gens before the Hydro. Next to him, this is Kinder5129, who is 1347 rated and also Cybran in red. Last but not least, at the top, all on his own, this is Star Commander, who is 1382 rated, a third Cybran in Burgundy. So we've got three Cybrans versus two UEFs and a Cybran. We have a pair of players. And then we have a single player, but starting with two bases on each team. Bit of reclaim dotted around, but nothing really to go and grab. And then this big clutch of mixes in the middle, which is going to be well worth fighting over. So this area, control of it, I think will decide the game in the long run. Let's see if I'm right. Drone, right from the offset for Zaznoba. What's he plan to do with it? Presumably go and get some of these mechs in an early greedy play. Well, he's going for this mech, but then he's going for reclaim. And early aggression, lab and scout, lab and scout, two pairs of those out from mirrored. Up here at the top, we have a bomber coming out from Star Commander heading straight for Zaznoba. Another classic play, build a bomber, follow it with the scout. Scout overtakes the bomber to get a read on where to hit just before the bomber arrives. Meanwhile, these raids have run into Secret's comp, who's quite far forward, and Mirrored is forced to fall back. Where's that bomb going? This is a huge, huge clutch of NGs. Brutal, look at that. Four NGs taken up in flames from the first pass. Instantly, there's Nova and his NGs work on a railgun, but two more NGs are taken out before the bomber is shot down. So six NGs, that bomber more than paid for itself. Good play from Star. Secret, meanwhile, that first air factory, he's used it to go through a pair of jesters. So that's quite a lot of air to ground firepower for this early in the game. Can he make it pay? And there's also a bomber out from Kinder. Now, I don't actually like that because it means that Mirrod will see it and he will start putting up anti-air and that will make these jesters from Secret less of a threat. And worse, he didn't stop to try and kill this NG, for example, or this radar and deny that. He tried to get straight into the base and just got shot down by Mirrod's fighters. So. That was, I think, a mistake from Kinder overall, that bomber. However, the bomber play is real as yet another one comes out from Zaznova. This is nice too. Yo has just set up a little tank and scout to guard. He's got an engineer coming out, but he's mainly just using tanks to make sure that nobody can be too greedy for these middle mexes. I think that's a good play. Mirrored going for gun early. I think too early he's had to pause. Presumably he is power stored. Decent amount of 
NT's out for both teams and the bombers have been stopped in their tracks as a result. You know what I said about being greedy? Well, look at this. If this isn't greedy, I don't know what is. Five engineers, unsupported, coming out from Kinder as they go into that big clutch of middle mixes. And if Yo sees them, then they're going to be toast. Looks to me like... I don't know whether Yo has seen them, but he certainly thinks it's worth guarding. And now he's going to see them all right. Look at this brutality. Those NGs are all going to die. Okay, maybe not this one, but most of them are going to die. Four dead NGs. Nice play from Yo. Another Jester comes out for secret. But I see there's anti-air being mixed in and there are inties nearby, so I don't think that's going to get too much done. Although this will be a nice kickoff because there's no NGs nearby, so it will take Mirrod a bit more time to come out and grab them. Mirrod's finished his gun and over here Star has started it. Meanwhile, we see Yo is in a position to grab all these central mixes, which should pay off for him. This is quite courageous down here from Secret. <clears throat> Forward he comes, on his own, unsupported. If you can take out this, which is a T2 radar, that's going to be quite a pickup. But he's got to be careful. Mirrod's finished the gun, already has T2 land, and he's coming forward. He's taken out the radar, though, and he's just straight up reclaiming this factory. That's pretty nice. Kinder goes for the gun, and I think he's got enough spam to hold Yo back for the moment. Meanwhile, Secret just eats up that factory. Boom. He takes the reclaim from it, and he walks away. Bold, but it paid off, so good play from Secret there. Meanwhile, Yo capitalizing on this mass in the middle is paying off. Look at that. Cold team have a 4-3 eco lead on hot team. A lead of 30, which at this stage of the game is not at all insignificant. Yo advances with his com and a little bit of spam, but he hasn't got any upgrades, and we're about to see Gun competing for Tinder. Mirrod, with his gun, chases Secret, but Secret's just walking away. I don't think Mirrod should follow. With the gun... Oh, nope, he's stopping for stealth. And he's assisting with Mantis. Now, Mantis only have one build power each, one-fifth of a T1 engineer but enough of them and that's quite a crowd of them they are getting some significant assistance down helping out King's Cop. Yo falls back. I keep wanting to call him Mr. Yo because of the AoE 2 player of that name who's one of the top five-ish in the world so quite famous but I'm reasonably certain that this is not, in fact, Mr. Yo, and so I must try and remember to call him Yo, not Mr. Yo. Meanwhile, how's that stealth upgrade going? Only a few seconds left on it for Kinder. But Yo's getting a decent amount of units massing in the centre, and even with his Mantis backup, Kinder's com will have to be careful. Meanwhile, though, Star has also got himself gun and stealth, and he's heading forward. Kinder moves. Someone's shooting, but I can't see what. Oh, is it that? No, that's his, that's his drone, which there's no anti-air in here, so they can't shoot. Nice play from Zaznoba there. Just, he could even hoover up some of those engines if he wanted by reclaiming them with that drone. That would be rather nice. 
but some inties come in from Star and finish it off. Meanwhile, I don't think Yo can see Kinder thanks to his stealth. But now he knows he's there and suddenly Yo realises he might have to fall back and all of this spam swarms in. There is a Mongols here from Mirrod, so there is T2 on the field. Kinder takes a bit of damage, but he's doing more to Yo, and Kinder has his own units moving in, while Yo's are still, there's a lot of them, but they're back here. Kinder down into the yellow, but his con is still soaking up damage, his con can still take quite a bit of damage. I think he'll probably be fine. Quick check over here, as we see gunship raids taking out Mirror's attempt to expand. But we've got to keep an eye up here as Kinder is taking fire from all of those units blowing to Yo. He's down into the red, but the units from Yo are running out. Yo knows he can't take a fight with his com and is retreating. I think that Kinder is going to survive. More comms are converging on the middle too. Here comes Secret and Star is moving in from the top with his own gun com shooting up these rhinos that Zosnoba is bringing in. Little run by, getting in past Yo here from Secret. Might be able to get a decent amount of damage done. Ooh, but we have a snipe attempt, a Jester snipe attempt. When was the last time you saw that, my dudes? A Jester snipe attempt whittling away at Yo and Secret's com is coming into support. Yo is still naked, but these units here might make a difference. Although the Jesters are dying to Inties from the Cold team, Yo has walked in among those tanks. Boom! Yo goes up in smoke as Secret traps him between the air and the ground, between a rock and a hard place, and Yo is our first ejection at 12 minutes. Zaznoba inherits his stuff, and now he's as Nova finds himself in the middle, facing off against no fewer than three comms. Mirrod is down here, he has T2 and he's probably going to go for a little PD creep up here to support his ally. So as Nova though, rather than going for gun to fight these guys off or Nano to survive it, he's going straight for T2. Are we going to see these two comms try and set up a firebase here in the middle to guard these delicious mixes, especially this central cluster, but these factories, I don't think they're going to get much work done as Kinder's Com, who now also has Nano, walks in and opens fire. So as Nova brings his gunships in on Kinder, but Kinder with his Nano, his three vets on top of Cyber Regen, He's barely even being tickled by those gunships. He's got a lot of units here, but he hasn't got much anti-air. There's a decent amount of recon to pick up here, and he has got engineers in on it. Meanwhile, his com takes out these factories. That's the second one of those Nova's factories to fall. And... The gunships are here and they're fighting, but they're just not doing the damage. And I think Zaznova either needs to mass a lot more of those fire beaters. My dudes, we have some fire beaters and we also have a loyalist walking along there, so Zaznova is at T3 land and getting T3 land onto the field. Loyalists, fire beaters could be a nice snipe. We do also have T3 land from Kinder. But he's only using it to make NGs, and I think he's going to try it for a T3 air build here. So the only T3 combat at all on the field is from Nova. A swarm of units come in from Kinder and Secret, while Star contributes some flak. Nice teamwork there. And Kinder's com remains up front. The Loyalist is here. The Fire Beater comes in from the snipe which is blown up before it gets there, spotted by the Omni of Kinder. Another one comes in and another one is blown up, so those Fire Beaters not doing much damage, unfortunately for Zaznova. Still, 
secret at least is worried that there's too much here and there's a decent amount here with quite a lot of T2 and a bit of T3. And all of this supporting spam apart from this one rhino here looks like it's T1. Okay, now there's a couple of rhinos. But Kinder will have to be careful. However, he's overcharging the loyalists as well. I think he's going to be safe, especially with Star coming in, supported by mobile missile launchers and rhinos of his own, from the side. Mirror is building point defenses here. Well, Zaznopa is going for T3. Do you think we're going to see this being an attempt to build ravages and a huge UEF firebase to lock down this central area against the Cybran invasion? That looked like Janus fire, so I think we're going to be seeing a bit of Janus play from Zaznova. He's got more fire beaters coming out, which is always fun. But with these two comms, both have gun, both have stealth and kinder with nano, the few loyalists in this mix aren't going to be enough. Here comes some Janus, so we do have that Janus attack that we're talking about. And wisely, it's using the fact that it does spread fire damage over time to burn through this spam rather than trying to snipe the comm, which they know has nano. I like that play. Good point defense work from Mirrod as he sets up defenses. There are quite a lot of T1 AA turrets in here that can shoot at the Janus, so I don't know how effective they're going to be. It looks like we're going to have an attempt to mob down Tinder. So now he's got five vets plus Nano, that is some pretty brutal stuff. This army needs to come in and build them up. Is it going to connect? Boom, the fire beetle connects, taking him down into the yellow. Meanwhile, Mirrod's com walks in behind a wave of loyalists as the Janus attack from the air. However, Kinder is still essentially okay and Star is also unharmed and both have gun. As well, of course, as their various health upgrades. T3 almost done for Zasnova. Is he just going... Oh no, these are only T1. I was expecting him to put up a couple of T3 support factories on the front line. But nope, he's not doing any such thing. More Janus coming in here. However, this raid has just gone on past the comms. And now four of the T3 factories from Kinder are under threat. One Brit has come out. And it is making its way through the lesser units of... Um, there's Nova. But there's Nova who's getting damage done from the air. This is work getting done here. One of the factories goes down and Kinder is forced to retreat. There's also Janus over here, plowing through stuff belonging to Secret. So there's Nova really doubling down on the Janus thing. Meanwhile, a Ravager is up in the middle and Star Commander is going to have to watch out. He's also got Fire Beaters and Loyalists coming in to attack and he's quite wise in falling back. Mirrored also starting on T3. So definite different strategies on either side here between the cold team with all their comms going for T3 and the hot team with all their comms going for gun stealth nano. Reclaiming some of the wrecks like that brick will help Kinder out quite a bit if he wants to rebuild this position. Ooh mirrored saying that he's planning to go for a billy shenanigan now we love to see a billy well i love to see a billy and if you've got any sense so do you and 
And that Billy should be able to range a lot from that central position. Billy there would be lovely, for example. Maybe a Billy there? And in come the Janus from Zaznova, this time going for the T3 Air Age kill. No, they're going for the power. Will the damage be enough? Yes, it will. Boom. Down goes the P-Gen and it damages the Air Age kill. Immediately, the T3 engines in the area start rebuilding it, but that's going to hurt Kinder, all right. Star still fighting from the front line and he's supporting his comrade Bricks, that's nice. Here goes the Billy play from Mirrored. What's he going to attack with it? He's got to be careful though because this Gun Nano 5 Vet Cyber Com is coming towards him. Just pops that mech so he knows it's there. He has got this T2 point defense in range, but can he see it? I don't think he can. Well, now he can, as this engineer walks in just to get a bead on it, and Mirrored opens fire, but he's forced to cancel the Billy. He fires a tactical missile anyway, and he hits Kinder. Nice, nice play. Another attempt, but that one is less well judged and misses. And you've got to be careful with that because commander tactical missiles are expensive. And he's also got to be careful of these bricks that we have coming up from Kinder. And Star has been pushed back quite a bit by this Nova, but most of this is only T1 and T2. There's just a couple of loyalists in there. And this fortification with shields, bricks, point defenses should be more than enough to hold it back. So I think that Star is going to hold that position. Meanwhile, though, we've got attempts to get work done up here, but there are quite a lot of bricks from Star up here as well, and as Nova is driven away. We've also got a force pushing in in the south from Secret, but that's a lot of triads and ravages for Mirrored, and I don't think this is going to get anything done. It's also not attacking yet, so there's that. The Ravager opens fire. Artillery going up for um, Star, with which he'll be able to bombard this, but the Billy is on the way for Mirrored. He's also got the bombers helping out here, and despite the bricks in this crowd, I am absolutely certain that he's going to hold without a problem down here. Triads, Ravages, Bombers, these bricks are toast. Another little force with one brick in it and a few artillery tries coming round, but it's not going to get anything done and Mirrod's going to defend his base. So we have the middle being held by Cold Team and top and bottom being held by Hot Team. Overall, surprisingly, Hot Team actually has the slight eco advantage. These Janus get through the shield and another big wave comes in. Are we seeing a snipe going for... Nope, he's just trying to take out all the infrastructure. And he gets some damage done as his force of Lobos push in, but there's still so many bricks that they're not going to have the ability to stop it. And Mirrod's finished the billy and is loading. What's he going to target with it? K 
Kind is advancing. He's got Brits, but he will be advan he will be a perfect target for the Billy if this sort comes forward together. Is mirrored loaded yet? Not quite. Eighty like percent loaded. And from the fact that this guy is not firing upon Kinder, Kinder's stealth is doing the dirty work. Fired Ravager. But surely Kinder can't know about this because, well, now he does. And he backs up. Nope, he comes back in. He's dodging the Ravagers, are having trouble seeing him. Out pops mirrored, but the bricks come in. The bricks come in, and the ravagers fire. But there'll be enough. For, but look at that close range defensive Billy, boom! Straight down into the red for Kinder, and he's not going to survive the ravagers. Kinder is taken out. Defensive Billy, my dudes, at ultra short range kills Kinder, and mirrored walks away. Killed, says Mirrored, and he should be proud of that. Defensive Billy play killing an enemy com. How cool is that? And of course all the bricks are complete toast, and Mirrored can just walk forward to rebuild. Whew. Meanwhile, as Noble is continuing his Janus work as he sends them in against the bricks that are massing up the star up here. However, there are now bouncers coming in for Star, and he has a decent horde of scattered AA turrets down here. The Billy from Mirrored fires at Star's units. That might do quite a bit of damage to the bricks, and to. Oof, Star goes down into the red. Can Code Team capitalise on that? Where are those Janus? Oh wait, they're all shot down by those AA turrets, so there only a couple remain. Like, three more Janus and you'd probably have killed Star Commander. But, we can't dwell on the what ifs, Star Commander backing away. Still good Billy play. Meanwhile, Secret has inherited and rebuilt this area here, and he's going for a soothsayer, so he'll be able to see what's going on in this area and these are all producing bricks which is pretty wise especially given the number of bricks that are being killed up here even though it's only Lobos they're doing decent damage still a few bricks though and I don't think it's going to break through it's just going to wear down this army a bit and there's also artillery four artillery installations so far up for Zaznova He's building his land HQ up here, which is quite surprising. He, especially as he's already got a T2 HQ back here and a T3 Cyber one back here. What does he want up here with this HQ, which is a big investment? Does he want Percy's? We'll see. The forces advance from Star. That would be a good place for a Billy from Mirrored. And so it is. Out goes the Billy, but the spam looks like it's breaking quite effectively. And that Billy is deflected by the Loyalists. The Billy is deflected by the Loyalists, by dudes. A Billy nuke has been deflected back and is coming straight for Mirrored. Mirrored, oh my dude, you billied yourself. He's got a billy too, says Mirrored, but little does he know that was his own billy being directed back at him. And it has taken out quite a bit around there, so that's pretty cool. Mirrored only on half health because he's got so much health from the T3 and the, and the five vets. 
but look at that and he's put up a bunch of TMDs but little does he know that was his own Billy deflected back at him by a loyalist excellent work that makes me happy on the inside and it should make you happy too meanwhile Secret is doing what Cybrans do he's going for Telly Mesa and he is completing it around now rude making me wait there is he going to go for a snipe? He's going to have difficulty because there's a decent amount of firepower around both enemy comms. Actually, I say that, but Zaznoba's just walking away. If he tellies here, he could just kill Zaznoba easy as pie. Meanwhile, we have a monkey coming down from Star, heading for the middle, while a raid comes sneaking in from there's no but and it looks like it's going to get some work done taking out this factory here but lots of Cerberus being put up although there's a hill in the way poor Cybers with their laser direct fire a Billy goes out for the monkey nope that's not for the monkey that's just for the spec I don't think he knows about the monkey the monkey has a stealth field and sure the Billy's done a bit of damage to the spam but I don't think he's recognised that it's coming. He might, well, he might see it now. Will this monkey kill him? But suddenly we've got to split screen as I see that Teddy made a heading in here. Meanwhile, Mirror knows about the monkey all right now. But there are broadswords in defence, and they're already just to attack grounding the spot, and now they retarget the com, or they should do. They haven't. Bombers come for the monkey. Now they retarget the combo. He's just smacked out all of those mexes and he's going to beam out. Is he going to make it out? Yes, he is. But you know where he's going to beam out to? Right here in mirrored space. That is some ballsy play and I approve of that. Even though it's a telly maze, I approve of it. Meanwhile, the monkey advances it's deep into the red, but this is quite either crazy or brave from mirrored and he begins to back off. There is now anti-air coming in towards, anti-air air to ground coming in towards secret from mirrored, but he's messed up that base too. Look at the eco, this is brutal and he just beams out. Meanwhile, forward comes the monkey, already on two vets and regenerating health. Mirrored is right here. The monkey faster, but a billy comes out. The billy is put straight in front of the monkey and boom! Look at that. That is beautiful work as the defensive billy takes out the monkey. But that's still a lot of bricks, and those bricks are pressing in on Mirrored. He's going to have to get out of there. And the bricks are faster than he is. But there are these Ravager turrets up here from Zaznova. There are these Gunters which will lay down a bit of supporting fire. And Mirrored has an awful lot of health thanks to his TP and Vet. If he had enough for another Billy, it, that would be a lovely defensive Billy. But I don't know if he does. No, look at that. He's loading pretty slowly because... All his mass was eaten up. Look at that huge mass differential. All his mass was eaten up by the telemaser. So, he can't afford to reload his billy and those bricks are pressing in. The ravagers are firing though. He's overcharging to the best of his ability and I think he might actually make it out. One brick left and it goes down and somehow Mirrored survives, but let's look at the effects of that immense amount of damage. 482 to 186, a 300 eco lead for Hot Team as a result of that brutalisation of their eco. Oh, Mirrored is not happy and he's swearing at Zaznoba as Zaznoba was going for his um, mexes. And sure, that's not maybe higher rated than Mirrored, but that's no reason to just steal his stuff. Looks like we got a loyalist run by from 
secret coming up past here. And suddenly, apart from that, which is pretty slow as it inches forward, that's going to get some damage though. Apart from that, everything's quiet as there's Nova, who now has the Billy of his own. Yes, he's got that Billy backpack right there. There's Nova, who now has the Billy of his own, and Mirrored by their time waiting for. Well, waiting for being able to do anything at all. And meanwhile, they've got to be careful because a big army is coming in from both Star and Secret. And this monkey is going to be a bit of a problem. And you know what? Mirrored doesn't know it's coming. Because of the monkey stealth, Mirrored can't see that there's a monkey lord there. And if that catches him by surprise, well, it's been pung suddenly as it is seen. Mirrored, my dude, you need to react. He reacts, but is it going to be too little or too late? He fires a defensive billy. And boom, a third of the monkey's health evaporates. But there's these bricks coming in from the south. And those bricks just lay down the pain. And Mirrored is taken out, leaving only Zaznoba to stand against the hot team. And does Nova, my dude, are you in trouble? There are now two monkeys here. Does Nova fires his own Billy in defense? But he's firing it from all the way back here. There's a lot of travel time, and I don't think he's actually going to get that much done. What, that's two bricks, I think? It and does Nova's already recovered a hundred of the mass? Gain that he was that he was um, cost by those tele snipes, but that's only small consolation when hot team is still 200 mass per tick ahead. So as Nobu is building a strat, will he be able to survive with a sneaky strat snipe? These two monkeys, sure, one of them is badly hurt, but these two monkeys and this horde of bricks, how can he possibly stop them? Strats will help, because there isn't any anti-air in there, and so will the Billy if he can get good hits in with it, but he's got these air edge kills, but has he actually lost all his land edge kills? Well, he's got a UEF land edge kill down here, but that's a long way away to get any units in. The Billy fires. And that looks like it's going to be deliciously positioned to hit those monkeys. And boom, that monkey is smashed down into the red. Now would be a good time to send that strat. And it looks like he is doing just that. The strat stealths up and drops a bomb on the monkey. But there's a lot of bounces in there and it's quickly eaten up. Some broadswords come in. As does another strat and the first monkey goes down. But the second monkey is walking forward and I just saw a notification that another XP, which is another monkey, has gone up in Star's base. And the Cybran Air HQ is about to be monkey food. The Billy is fired and smashes down into the spider bot. I'm loving this Billy defense, but I don't... If, if, if it's only Billy, I don't think it's gonna gonna succeed. And as Nova is walking towards it, is he gonna try and get some overcharges in? That would be brave and slash or foolish. But actually, a Billy in the middle of those to take out the bouncers that could pay off. A brick has found the con, and he overcharges it. But that next Billy doesn't do quite as much damage. And it looks like his second HQ is about to go down as the monkey regenerates its health. And what's he going to do about it? I fear the answer might be nothing at all. I think he's just trying to get that monkey with another Billy just to prove a point. He's loaded. And he fires the Billy. Ahead of where he thinks the monkey's going to go, is he going to be able to take it out? Well, he's going to take it into the red, but he 
doesn't kill it. His HQ's down. He's only got this to base left down at the bottom. Pretty much everything is down. His comms here all on his own. There's an awful lot of bricks and a monkey near it. The writing is, I think, on the wall, my dudes. I don't think there's anything that Noble can do about this. He's back down to 160 mass compared to the 530 of Hot Team. And yet he still fights. Some significant bravery right there. And he resigns. Some some brave and some foolish play. What a silly Billy, my dudes. I do love a bit of Billy play. I was rooting a little bit for Cold Team, but I also approve of Secret using that telemaser just for eco damage. Teleport in, hit some eco, teleport out, hit some eco, teleport out again, survive. None of this going in there and suiciding yourself to kill a, another com by telemaser or something. No, actual sensible use of the telemaser. I approve. Anyway, I think the play of the game though was that first Billy just taking out Kinder by surprise. What did you think? What's the play of game? Tell me in the comments below. While you're down there, please don't forget to like, subscribe and obey. I am the Commissar and I will see you next time.